I'm logged into my Coinbase account. I'm gonna go down to my portfolio, click on euros or dollars, whatever your currency is, and then click on deposit. Because my Coinbase is linked to a German bank account, obviously my screen is gonna look slightly different, but basically you just enter in the card information like you would on any other website enter in the amount you want to transfer. This particular provider expects 450 US dollars. So I'm going to go and check what the current conversion is. 450 US dollars equals in euros currently 408. So I'm gonna go back over to Coinbase and I'm gonna put 410 just to be safe, add a little bit extra. You see here, if I do the instant transfer, it's gonna charge a processing fee of 635. So to save that extra money, I'm going to do a normal bank transfer. So I'm gonna enter in the name of my bank, my name, and how much I want to transfer. Still going to do 410. You can change the currency and choose to pay in in US dollars. So then you don't actually have to do the conversion yourself, but I prefer to do it in euros because my account is in euros and you might be charged a fee from your bank if you have a charge in a different currency. But your provider should tell you what the conversion is anyway. I click continue, click these double boxes to copy the reference number. They say that's really important. The transfer will not go through without the reference number. Then I click continue and here I've got all the information I need to make the transfer. So I'm gonna go over to my bank's website, log into the online banking, um, click to create a transfer, and here I'm going to enter in that reference code. I'm going to copy the EBAN or account number depending on what you use where you are. I'm going to put in the same amount again, 410. And for the name, you do have to manually copy and paste that. They don't have those double boxes there. Then I am going to send that transfer. Okay, so now my transfer has been sent. I'm gonna go back to Coinbase and click, I've sent the funds. And now we wait for the funds to arrive. Normally, I would expect them to arrive the next business day, at most two days later, but they do say that it can take up to three days. So you have to be prepared with a little extra time on your hands in this case. Okay, so I sent my transfer from my bank to Coinbase just before the bank closed Friday afternoon. And as you can see, I got a confirmation email from Coinbase that they had received the deposit at 12.34 on Monday. So it actually goes really quickly, less than a full business day. You have the amount and the date of the transfer in the email. And if you click on view deposit, it will redirect you to Coinbase. Yeah, and again, it will show you your deposit, the account it came from, and the exact time that Coinbase received it. I'm gonna exit that. You can see here my balance is 410 euros, which is exactly what I just transferred. And now I'm gonna go click on trade. And I would like to buy Bitcoin. So I'm gonna put in 410. And I'm paying with my Euro wallet. Go to preview buy. And here it shows me at the top exactly how much I would be getting in Bitcoin. I'm paying with my Euro wallet again, or you would be paying with Euros, Dollars, Pounds, whatever currency you use. This is the current price of Bitcoin. So this shows you for one whole Bitcoin, current price would be 8,170 Euros and 65 cents. But I'm not buying a whole Bitcoin, I'm buying 0 0.04944283 B. 
because Coinbase is charging a fee of six euros and two cents, I'm actually only going to be getting 403 euros and 98 cents worth of Bitcoin. If I had done the instant transfer from my bank to Coinbase, I would have paid a six euro fee for that. And then I would have had to pay this second six euro fee to convert from euro to Bitcoin. By doing the slower transfer, I avoided paying that six euro fee entirely, only paid the fee to convert from euros to Bitcoin. So in the end, it cost me one business day more, but I paid 50% in fees. Unfortunately, what that also means is that the amount of money that I transferred on Friday was supposed to be enough to cover the fees for my provider, but since I didn't take that second six euro fee into account, I ended up coming up $6 short for the payment that my provider receives, so I am going to have to clear that up. Providers are typically flexible with the Bitcoin fluctuation if you come up maybe a few cents short, but in this case I'm a full six euros or six dollars short, so that is a much more significant difference. So I am going to have to talk to my provider and find out if that's going to be an issue, and I might have to make another transfer to make up for that missing amount. This is again why it's always good to transfer a little bit of extra so that you can avoid ending up in a situation like this. I click buy now. Here you see Bitcoin was successfully purchased. I can click on view transaction and it'll show here that I bought Bitcoin using my Euro wallet. Just moments later I get a confirmation email from Coinbase saying that my Bitcoin is now available and all of the details of that transaction again. So right here it's saying that my Bitcoin balance is zero, but if I refresh that page, now you can see I have 402 euros and 91 cents in Bitcoin. 